you're able to customize the wallpaper you have selected for your home screen. To change the wallpaper, open the pop-up menu and select the wallpaper option. Here, you'll be able to choose from HTC wallpapers, live wallpapers, or images from your gallery. If you download any wallpaper applications, options for those will appear here as well. Here I'll choose the HTC wallpapers. The device comes preloaded with a wide variety of images you can choose from. Scrolling through, tapping on the preview option, you can see what your homepage would look like using that wallpaper. If you choose you want to use the wallpaper, tap apply on the bottom of the screen. Choosing live wallpapers, you'll see a different list of wallpapers that incorporate motion into their display. Again, tapping preview will show you what the wallpaper will look like on your home screen. Tapping apply, the wallpaper will be set. Choosing gallery, you can select pictures that you've taken. Once you've selected a picture, this green crop box will appear. Highlight the area you'd like to use and tap save. The image will be cropped and set as your wallpaper. On the Thunderbolt, you have seven customizable home screens. You're able to add shortcuts and widgets to these screens. Widgets, for example, include objects such as the clock and weather display on the home screen. The easiest way to add a shortcut to the home screen is through the app launcher. Open the launcher and using a long press on the application you want to create a shortcut for will bring you back to the home screen. Here, you can drag and drop the shortcut where you want. A long press and hold on the home screen will bring up the personalized menu. Here, you can choose from any option from the Add to Home section to customize your home screen. Here, I'll add a widget, but you can also add an app, shortcut, or folder. Tapping on any of these will display additional options. I'll add the Facebook widget. Next, I'll add a shortcut for the calculator. Tapping one of these options will drop the shortcut onto your home screen, and a long press on the icon will let you reposition it where you'd like. When rearranging icons, you can only drop them on the lighter portions of the screen. Selecting the shortcut option will display a list of available shortcuts. Selecting the direct dial option allows you to copy direct shortcuts to contacts saved on your phone for easy one-touch dialing. Here, I'm adding a sample contact saved as wife. The last option in this section is folder. Selecting this, you can choose a pre-filled folder, or you can create a new empty folder. Dropping a new folder, you're now able to customize it. Tapping on the folder will open it. A long press and hold on the title bar of the folder will let you rename the folder. Here, I'm naming my folder Tools. Tap OK to save your changes, and as you can see, the name of the folder has changed. 
A long press on any shortcuts will allow you to rearrange them and you can drop them into the folder as shown here. Now, tapping on the folder, you can see the shortcuts are stored inside the folder rather than on the home screen. If you decide you want to remove a shortcut from a folder, open the folder and a long press on the shortcut you want to remove will bring it back to the home screen for positioning. Folders will not automatically remove themselves when they are empty. To remove the folder, press and hold and drag it to the Remove option on the bottom right of the screen. Removing shortcuts and widgets follows the same process. On the Thunderbolt, you're able to set different scenes. Scenes allow you to customize your home screens and save them for different occasions of your life. Opening the pop-up menu, select Personalize, and here select Scenes from the top of the list. There are six scenes you can use and you'll see a thumbnail previewing them in this menu. When you've picked the scene you want to use, tap Apply. Here, I'm selecting the social scene. Selecting this scene, you can see the Friends Stream widget is now on the home page, and the clock widget has changed. You can customize these scenes the same way you can customize any home screen. Selecting a widget or application will bring up these options at the bottom of the screen. Dropping the object onto Edit will let you change the settings for it. Dropping it on Remove will delete the object from your home screen. Here, you can see I removed the time widget, and I'll fill in the space with other social networking shortcuts and widgets. Going back to the scene menu, I'll also personalize the work scene, where social networking features may not be appropriate on the device. Here I will also personalize this scene, however this time with tools I use at work. Returning to the scene menu, it is easy to jump back to your original scene with the original home screen layouts. Now, when I want to activate any of the scenes I have created, simply return to the scenes menu and select the scene you want and tap apply. As you can see, the custom scene saved all my changes, allowing me to easily switch between based on what I'm doing or where I am.
In addition to shortcuts and widgets, you can also customize the wallpapers for each scene. If you don't need to preview the wallpaper, simply tap on it to immediately apply. The scene previews will reflect any changes you have made to them.